Hi, I am Alexandra Barker. As part of the 2020 Census Redistricting Data Files, the Census Bureau released for the first time data about group quarters population. But what is a group quarter? In the United States, most people live at a place called housing unit. Typically, this includes homes, mobile homes, and apartments. But not everyone lives at a housing unit. Roughly 3% of our population lives in a group quarters. And some people have no fixed address at all. Group quarters are defined as places where people live or stay in a group living arrangement and it's owned or managed by an organization providing services and or housing. Group quarters typically includes college dorms, military barracks, skilled nursing facilities, prisons and group homes, and more. I will show you today how to access data about group quarters population from table P5 from the 2020 Census Redistricting Data Files. Follow along. Let's start by visiting data.census.gov. There are many ways to access data products using data.census.gov. I will show you one of the ways to access the table P5 for group quarters population. The easiest way is to use the simple search bar by typing PL for PL94171 tables. Now scroll down to find table P5 and selecting P5 group quarters population by group quarters type. This will open the table for you. And now your next step is to select your geographies. So click on the customize table button. Let's click on the icon for geos. I will select county and this county will be in Massachusetts. Next, I can select all counties in Massachusetts or individual counties. I will select Suffolk County for this example. When using data.census.gov, you are able to select multiple geographies. Let me close the filter option, and now we are back to the table view. But now it's showing for Suffolk County, Massachusetts. Let's take a quick look at the content of the table. The data is broken down by institutionalized population and non-institutionalized population. For the institutionalized population, it's broken down by correctional facility for adults, juvenile facilities, nursing facilities, skilled nursing facilities, and other institutional facilities. Next, for the non-institutionalized population, we have college, university, student housing, military quarters, and other non-institutional facilities. As you can see, it is very easy to access the new group quarters population table from the 2020 census redistricting data files. Now, let's take a look at the 2020 census demographic data map viewer to visualize group quarters population data. To access the 2020 census demographic data map viewer, click on the link above or on the description of this video. So let's take a look at the group quarters population using the 2020 census demographic data map viewer. Start by clicking on the tab Group Quarters. Once your map has loaded, you'll be able to visualize the percentage of total population living in group quarters from the 2020 census by state. On the left side, you're able to see the breakdown of the data. Let's go back to Massachusetts to the same area we use for data.census.gov, Suffolk County. Many colleges and universities are located in this area of the city of Boston, which is reflected on the data showing that the percent of the population living in group quarters is 65 or more. If you click on a track, it will show you the data for that track. In this case, it's census track 101.03. Next, let's look at the breakdown for group quarters population by type of group quarters. Click on the tab Institutional Group Quarters Population. 
and the map now shows for that same track 101.03 that there is no population living in institutional group quarters. Let's check now the non-institutional group quarters population. Click on the tab and let's take a closer look at the same track. Track 101.03 where we have 88.5% of the total population living in non-institutional group quarters. This resource is a great way not only for you to visualize group quarters population data for your area, but to also look at your area in comparison to the surrounding areas. I hope you enjoy learning about group quarters. For more videos like this, visit census.gov slash academy and subscribe. Thank you.